share with us. I always wait for the um, uh, growl. Yeah. Problem. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Yep. Oh, I took a good shower. I feel better now. All right, I think we can do this. Nope. <laughs> Still got the white screen of death. It pops. It always says it to me twice. That's Wait. why I know. So bear with me. Growl. We're live now. We can see it. Okay. Or I can see it. Okay. All right. Then let's see if this works. Here we go. Ah, it'll do for now. Tushi. Tushi. Tushi or not Tushi? That is the question. Yeah, sorry about that, folks. I was trying to do my new opening for Tune In Tuesday. It didn't quite go the way I expected. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, well. Hopefully the ending will be better. <laughs> anyway, it's Tuesday. It's our second day back from the long two-week holiday. And this is Beyond the Always the Infinity Project. Tonight, of course, it's Tune In Tuesday. That means we've got new video games, anime and manga, Blu-ray and DVDs, and, of course, the music. you got to have the music. And, as usual, BTA is not responsible for any crazily named manga, album titles, or group names. Because, <laughs> trust me, we've seen plenty. <laughs> Anyway, I'm your host for tonight. I am Oddball Stream. I'm currently joined in the line by three of my crazy cohorts. First, we've got our resident Joker, Mike. Hello, Mike. Good evening, everyone. Happy Tuesday. We also have Spirit Spotter Tim below me. Hello, Tim. Hello, hello, hello. And to my my left, anyway, is our resident sus something, 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 Janet. Hello, Janet. <laughs> oh, shit. Did I have to change my name? Yeah, you're still Janet. <laughs> yeah, she's our resident sus, Miss Ron Hunter, Miss Ron Humpter, something. <laughs> I'm steering away from the Humpter part. Okay. <laughs> and, she's, and she's currently sus. Yep. According to the sus on the Yep. I'm a sus, you're a sus, he's a sus, we're all suses. <laughs> except, except me, and Chaos God is also sus. <laughs> there. Not right. the sus, so there. <laughs> you didn't change yours either. Uh, yes, I did. Yes, you okay. did. I did, a, I did it as soon as I got into Zoom. <laughs> But the, he said, right now the deal is, you know, if I'm ever on like a real call, I I can't be oddball stream on the account right now. But you know, if it gets to that point where I can, I can change it. So, Ugh. but that's how it oh. is. All right. But anyway, Oops. we also have Sajo. Sajo's in the chat as well. Hello, Sajo. Hello, Sajo. Yeah, ah. All right. Well, anyway, of course, we have our we we it's it's the new year, but that doesn't mean we're not gonna have new things. So we might as well go ahead and get started, right, Mike? Yep, that's yep. right. Yep, all my links are already up. All the links are already in Discord as well. So that's a good. That helps me plenty. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. So anyway, let's get started with the video games first. So to the video games intro. All right, there we go. Oops, I'm on the wrong thing. I'm supposed to be at the video games. There we go. All right, are we ready? I believe so. Give me just a second. If it'll get there today and today and today. And today. <laughs> you know how it is. Nope, no problem. All right, I am there now. All right, so this is a short list this week. Mm -hmm. We only got 5th, 7th, and 8th. So, starting with Game of Thrones today, we got Elder Scrolls Online, the new live festival event. That No, actually, that is the today is the end date for that. So, for oh, those okay. who haven't played it yet, you may not have too much longer. Ah, uh -huh. gotcha. That. All right. 
Then I also saw today is Summer Amera for Xbox One. Then out on the seventh is Blacksmith of the Sand Kingdom and Werewolf the Apocalypse, Heart of the Forest. And then out on the eighth is Iris Dot Fall for PS4 and Xbox One. And that's it. Yeah, that's, that's it all. For video games. Okay, let me see. Uh oh. Uh, Sandra said, I'm not on Discord anymore because my account got disabled. What? How so? Hmm. Oh, man. That sucks. Alright. Okay. Okay. For the get... anime, you're going to have to scroll way, 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 way down. Actually, no. When I put it in the Discord, I went, I took it right to the, um... Try the Discord link. Trust me. Okay, give me a second. Oh, uh, It should jump straight to Oh, January wow, 20. it brought straight. It did jump. Wow, yeah. okay. Uh-huh. I figured it out. <laughs> nice. All right. Did you get the anime and manga title or uh, screen going? Yes, I got it. Okay. And we're good to go. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, so, I didn't do that part. Hold on. Sorry. I know what you're talking about now. My br you see where my brain is? Okay. It ain't here. <laughs> it's it's up here behind, isn't it? All right, I want to get back to Google. Okay, I now we can do extensions. this. I apologize. Go ahead, Mike. No problem. Give me a second here. I'm munching on, munching on which crackers. Excuse me. <laughs> Oh my. I'm a munch, 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 munch. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't have changed this. Right. I want my Google extensions. <clears throat> okay. All right. Starting with from uh, Crunchyroll and Funimation, we got Conception Complete Collection on Blu ray as part of the Essentials Collection and Non Baka Complete Collection on Blu ray, also part of the Essentials Collection. Next to it from Funimation, we got One Piece Season 10, Voyage 4. It doesn't say whether it's on Blu ray or DVD, so. Yeah. I don't know for sure. Then we got Star Blazers uh, 2202, Complete Collection on Blu ray. Then the next two from Sentai Filmworks, we got Black Bullet, Complete Collection on Blu ray as a 2021 re release. And then we got Flying Witch, Complete Collection on Blu ray, also a 21 re release. And last but not least, from Viz Media, we got um, Infinity Force, the movie, Farewell Friend on Blu-ray, and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, set four on Blu-ray. Hmm, I knew you need to get that Infinity Force, the movie, because I have the whole series on Blu-ray already, so. Nice. All right, on to the manga. All right. If it I'm actually going to cover... Because there's January third and fourth when I when I had the digital release oh. it it had the third and fourth. Okay, so, gotcha. So let me get let me clear that then. Uh, yeah, oh, we'll just out. have okay. to we'll just have to figure out some way because there's a lot of repeats. Yeah. Okay. That's All right. okay. All right. So I will start with the third, and since there's only three, you can take the fourth, and then we'll or no. No, you you can start with with the third. Okay. And I'll do the fourth, and then you can start on the fifth. Okay. So. All right. Let me do this. All right. Here we go. Uh, for that was Sunday. We've got all three from the J Novel Club. We've got Dungeon Busters Volume One, uh, Grimgar of Fantasy and Ash Volume Sixteen, and My Little Sister Can Read Kanji Volume Five. All three are for the Nook. All right. Hold on just a second. All right, so out yesterday, also from J Novel Club, we got Ascendance of a Bookworm, Part 3, Volume 3, and our crappy <laughs> social game club is going to make the most epic game, Volume 1. <laughs> and then you can go ahead and start with uh, January 5th. Right, here we go. Here's what's out today. First two are from the J Novel Club. First, we have an Art Stevens Dilemma, How to Love Your Elf Bride, Volume 9. Oh, God. <laughs> what did I do? Let's see. Then we also have Ascendance of a Bookworm Manga, Part 1, Volume 3. Uh, from Seven Seas Entertainment, we have Berserk of Gluttony, Volume 1. And from Viz Media, we've got Black Clover, Volume 24. All right. 
And then these are repeats. First is from Gadanshi Comics, we got Blue, period two. And then from Yen Press. <laughs> God. Breaths are my favorite thing in the world, volume three. That's just one line. We'll go with one line there. So go ahead. Yeah, uh, yeah, Tim. They actually have a manga titled like that. <laughs> titled what now? Breasts are my favorite things in the world. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> I knew sorry, that would get you. Sorry, Twitch. Sorry, That's Twitch. It's the title. It's the title. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's the title. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> All right. Anyway, mm. anyway, it's my turn. Uh, next two from Kadansha International. Both of them are for the Nook. We have Cells at Work, Bacteria, Volume 7, and City, Volume 10. Uh, strangely, uh, it says Vertical Comics has City Volume 10 as well. Go figure that one out. And then uh, Vismini has Daytime Shooting Star Volume 10. Alright. Then from Gdansk International, we got Drifting Dragons 9. Hi, Lulu. I heard Lulu. <laughs> I'm in the middle of something, miss. Do you mind? <laughs> I love Lulu to pieces. This is after being away from since New Year's Eve. Ah. Uh, All right. From J Novel Club Full Metal Panic, Volume 4 through 6, Collector's Edition. From Seven Seeds Entertainment, Gal Gohan, Volume 6. Then from Viz Media, we got High Q, Volume 42. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, from Cadenza International, Hera Marriage, Volume 1, for the Nook. Uh, from Vertical Comics, Helter Skelter, Fashion Unfriendly, that's for the Nook. Uh, from Kadansha International, The Hero Life of a Self-Proclaimed Mediocre Demon, Volume 5, that's for the Nook. And from Square Enix, we have High Score Girl, Volume 5, and that's actually both di- uh, regular and digital on the next line, believe it or not. <laughs> yep, that's correct. Square Enix, High School Girl, Volume 5, Nook. Uh, next two is from Seven Seas Entertainment, got Himoto Umaru Chan, Volume 12. And a white rose in bloom volume one. Then from J Novel Club, we got I, I Shall Survive Using Potions volume two. All right. Then from Viz Media, we have An Incurable Case of Love volume six. From the J Novel Club, we have Infinite Dendrogram volume 10. From Kandashi International, we have The Invincible Reincarnated Ponkatsu volume two. That's for the Nook. And from Viz Media, we have Jujutsu Kaisen volume zero. Must be the very first volume, probably. All right. Then from Seven Seas Entertainment, we got Machi Maho. I messed up and made the wrong person into a magical girl, volume seven. <laughs> oh, no. From I wonder Media, what got... that was like for the girl. Good question. Uh, from this Media, we got Moriarty, The Patriot, volume two. From Seven Seas Entertainment. We got Muscles Are Better Than Magic, Volume 1. And from Viz Media, we got My Hero Academia, Volume 26. You All know right. what you say, Muscles Are Better Than Magic. It depends on who has the muscles. True. True. All right. So anyway, uh, next up, from the Jane Novel Club, my next life as a villainous, All Routes all routes Lead to Doom, Volume 5. From Seven Seas Entertainment, Non Non Biori, Volume 14. From Viz Media, we've got Platinum Man Volume 12, and also from Viz Media, we have Prince Freya Volume 4. Hey, have we come across the Dungeon Girls yet? No. I don't think we're going to get them this week. Sorry. No. No. All right. From Seven Seas Entertainment, we got Reincarnated as a Sword Volume 7. From Yen Press, we got Sacrificial Princess and the King of Beats Volume 12. That is both physical and digital. And from Gadanshi International, we got uh, Sayuki, the original series, Resurrected Edition 4, hardcover. All right, from Kadansha, we have Smile Down the Runway, Volume 17, for the Nook. From Viz Media, we've got Snow White with the Red Hair, Volume 11. And then from Kadansha International, we have Sweat and Soap, Volume 5, for both physical and digital. You know what? If I remember correctly, in the original Grim Fairy Tales, Snow White was a redhead. I believe you're right. I'm not familiar, but anyway. From Viz Media, we got uh, Takane and Hana, Volume 16. Then from Yen Press, got that time I got reincarnated as a slime, Volume 3, The Wave of the Monster Nation, both, phys- both physical and digital. 
Then from Vertical Comics, got Tokyo ESP Volume 8. And, and the last one's for you. Okay. <laughs> from Kuma, we got Wild Wild Wildlife. And there's no cover because it says, Sorry, this cover is mature. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's see. Sunday. Okay, so January 8th, there's only one, and that is, and that's from this, 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 a guy ten books, and it's called it's it's called Gacha Girls Core, Volume One, and that's ebook. Yep, and that's and that's it. it. That's all for this week. No, we short will cover week, Sunday uh, on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Next Tuesday. Yep. That's it. Exacto mundo. All right, now let's go over to my end here because it's my turn. Okay. With the Blu-rays and DVDs, so let us. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, Sajo. That is right. James Bond movies got a naughty word in the title. It is Octopussy. That's true, and it can't be helped. So, mm. nope. but then again, I remember when Ryan Stiles said, "There's, there's those James Bond movies. Uh, Doctor No, Octo. I can't say that." <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Was that an episode of Who's Line? Yes, it was. All right, let's get the. Oh, that right. must have been the primetime version then. Yeah, it was. All right, let's get to the Blu rays and DVDs. Here we go. Oh, no. What's the Mata? Oh, I thought that I had froze. Oh. What's the Mata, you? Good okay, university Bullwinkle went to. to. <laughs> Now I'm going to tell you, I've got a very short week myself in everything. Uh, there were only two Blu-rays this week, uh, 12 Hour Shift and Love and Monsters. But Janet, there's one next week that's going to get your attention. What's that? Lupin the third, the first. Oh, oh my. hey, can you tell me, do, do they have a picture of the art? Yeah, let me see if I can. What, what color jacket is he wearing, pink, green, or? I think it's red. Okay, there was pink jackets, green jackets, and red jackets. Mm hmm Depending on the season. Yeah. But it looks like here he's wearing red. Okay. okay. All right, then. You're right. That would, um... That would... You're right. Mm hmm And it's very, very... That anime okay. is very, very weird. you want to know why? Because it's based on a gentleman thief from France. Exactly. The... <laughs> Original author of that was one Maurice LeBlanc. Mm -hmm. And I would always get the large type book of the. Okay. From, from the library. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, believe it or not, the exact same two movies, Love and Monsters and 12 Hour Shift, are, you know, they're the only two this week. So, not a lot. Oh, wait. You know, I forgot about the TV shows. <laughs> that explains a yeah. lot. <laughs> oh, dear. I forgot there was something called a, a TV. <laughs> what is this TV of which you speak? I have no idea. <laughs> Good question. All right. Well, anyway, there's only two this week. Uh, Mystery Road Season 2 on Blu-ray and The 100 Season 7, which, by the way, that is the final season. And believe me, that show uh, is of what? The final season of what? The 100. Take 100 okay. and call me in the morning. I'm kidding. <laughs> that doesn't quite work as well as, as the Take Two Towers bit. Yeah. Take Two Towers and call me in the morning. And there is no DVDs this week. Oh, wait. Yeah, there are. Uh, it's the same thing. Mystery Road Season 2 and The 100 Season 7. Thepawetly. Have any of you seen the advanced trailers for um, No Time to Die? Oh, not really. That is going to, looks like it's going to be good. Yeah, and it is Daniel Craig's last run as James Bond, so. Well, and also, from what a little bit tell, going to be a female double O. Yeah, there'll be happy people, and then there'll be the purists who say no. <laughs> you know how it is. Well, as long as she can do her job. Yeah. And let's just say her and Bond, James, don't get off her, get off on the right foot right away. very well. Yeah, they don't get off on the right foot right away. 
Oh, are you kidding me? They did it to me again. What I have they did? What? When I do when I go to the um website for the new releases for music, I had it all set up already, but somehow it went back to you know I have to go back to show more, show more, show more. That really no. irritates me. I hate that. Mm -hmm. Have you had that happen to you too? Once in a while, yeah. Yeah. It's like I'm trying to get this. You know, I want to get all these CDs and such. Cause guess what? I didn't know New Year's Day had a bunch of CDs. <laughs> oh. oh, Jesus. Yeah, but the good news is, you know, there's absolutely no time limit, so we should be okay. All right, so now we've got it up finally. And somebody has a Minute Maid curtain for a cover? Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> I'll let you know about that in a minute. Okay. All right, let me get the links here. And like I said, I put them all in the Discord chat already. But And I see JJ in the chat room. Hello, JJ. And also, Oracle is in the chat. I mean, she's not in the, not in the chat room, but I see her in the list of users in the chat. Okay. Hi, Ash. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, let's, oh get, my. let's get the new music. Here we go. All right, let's get to our new January releases. Okay, so first we've got, uh, now these two are scheduled for January, they just don't have a date. So, uh, first is Drake with Certified Lover Boy and Mad Lib. Yes, there's one called Mad Lib with Sound Ancestors. <laughs> That'll make you laugh. All right, then all of these guys actually came out on New Year's Day. There's R.A.P. Ferreira with uh, Bob's son, uh, Rap Ferreira in the Garden Level Cafe of the Scallops Hotel. <laughs> That's the name of it. Then we have Fax Gang with Aethernet, Anavitoria with Core, uh, The Dirty Nil with Fuck Art. Yes, that's the name of it. Sorry. Sorry! <laughs> All right, then we have Fireman with Overcoming the Cycle of Sun Collapse. And, okay, get ready to barf, folks. Justin Bieber. Uh, I haven't had too much scuttlebutt from him, so yeah. I'm not going to puke in his lap. Okay, yeah, well, he's got a new one called Anyone. And believe it or not, he looks like he's flat out on a boxing, in, a, in the middle of the boxing ring. <laughs> now, that's it. i got to admit, that's an interesting cover. Uh, anyway, next up we have Sun Through Trees with one one now. <laughs> o N E W O N now. Then we have Grimes with Miss Anthropocene Rave Edition. Uh, then we have another sky with Music for Winter Volume One. For some of us, it's a nightmare. For others, I wish we'd get snow next week. No kidding. <laughs> then we've got Ken M. Self titled on that one. Graham James. Or Graham James with The Weight of Many Winters. Amazing Blizzard with Until the End of Time. That cover looks gorgeous. Uh, then we have Tail Whip and Angie with Heartburn. And boy, I'll admit, that is a rather... Um, <clears throat> risque? Risque cover, yeah. Alright, uh, we have That Handsome Devil with Your Parents Are Sellouts. Swallowtail with The Bloom, The Blossom. The Holiday with... Bat B. Uh, Key and Tony Seltzer with the Alpha Jerk. Maka Huido with Con su Pistola en la Mano. Habla Espanol. <laughs> Let's see, we have Foo Fighter. Ooh, Foo Fighters has a new one. No son of mine. Uh, then we have Bun B and Les with Distant. Observed since 98 with Le Dernier Royaume. Uh, then we have various artists with Album of the Year, Users Music Compilation, Volume 3. Oh, in other words, you see, Album of the Year, this is the website I'm using. They have their own thing, too. Then we have a Young Pinch with Washed Ashore. Maple Way and Significantly with Demos 2020. Oh, boy. Then we have The Faggots with We Don't Give a Fuck About Shit. Yes, that's the name of the CD. Sorry. I hope that they overlook that. I, well, I mean, we can't help the titles. Like I said, we're not responsible for the titles. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
All right, then we have the Prime Meridian and Rashid Hadi with Prime Diesel. Blue with God is Good. Juan Bond with Womb. <laughs> Sice Greeny with Grass Mask. Finska Snubbin with Mozart. Then we have uh, Anna Pess Mozart? with... Mozart? What happened to Mozart? I don't know. Let's see. We have Anna Pess with Dark Arms Reach Skyward with Bone White Fingers. That's enough to scare you. <laughs> then we got Roland Kane with Electronic Symphony 1 through 3. For a, I'm going to tell you the truth. I thought it said Electronic Symphony Hill. <laughs> it's 1 through 3, though. Then we have Harry Styles with Treat People with Kindness. Sevish with Bubble. Uncle Murda with Don't Come Outside Volume 3. Dealers of God with Visions of Fuel. Cameron with Blackout featuring Lil Kraken. And it's spelled K-R-A-Q-Q-E-N. Uh, Johnny Singo with North. Carter C with Starry-Eyed Boy. Shadow grew a mm. body with the portrait peels off. Uh, and Paranoia with Hymn Hymn Nopsis Collectiva. Uh, Freddie Fargo with Dearly Departed. Molly Birch with Emotion. Implicit Doom with Cul-de-Sac. And I cannot believe they got a picture of one of the guys from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh my god, Double D. Ah, the <laughs> the EDD Ed. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Then we have Olivia O'Brien with Better Than Feeling Lonely. Uh, Dana Finder with, oh god, I hope we can do this one. Uj F S Uj N. <laughs> let's see, we have DJ Gherkin with I'm New Here. J let's see, J Janus with Yearbook. Do I don't work there anymore? <laughs> let's see, the KLF with Solid State Logic. I haven't heard the KLF in years. As I still remember, they had 3 a.m. Eternal. Let's see, um, Infinito 2017, Overcoming the Nothing and the Ignorance of Virtual Reality. <laughs> Then we have Partium with MMXXI, better known as 2021. Uh, Stygium with Rabies 2. Jaxwell with Boot, Boots House ID. Uh, Death Dynamic Shroud with Yellow Flower Lost. Fiddler with Untitled. Leon La Havas with Bittersweet. Radio added on that one. Puzzle with True Colors. That's the extended play. And I Need Water. Excuse me. Ugh, my mouth is dry. Okay, I went up a little too far on this one. Or did I? Alright, next up we have Veridsko with Static. Dylan Warfel with Girls Make Me Nervous, all in one word. Uh, then we have Machina with Siege. Aldo and Spanish Ran with The People in Hell Are Jealous. <laughs> I know somebody even belongs there. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Jeff Rosenstein. <laughs> With illegal, let's see, Jeff Rose's dog. Illegal fireworks and hiding bottles in the sand. <laughs> uh, let's see, we also have various artists. Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, Part 4, original television soundtrack. Of course, that's that one over that's on Netflix. And then we have Wiz Khalifa with hashtag FUCC2020. You know where that's going. <laughs> FUCC. -F yep. Uh... Get it now? Fuck. Yeah, exactly. Then we have Steve you Roach. You mean I did it right? Yep, you got it. Then we have Steve Roach with Into the Into the Majestic, Last Kites with Two, Kid Floral with Twenty Twenty, B Four with Fibers, Noah Barbo Barbosa with Coffee in the Evening, Kid Floral with Tuna featuring Little Toy Yoda and Young Tega, and How the Hell Did They Get? A little bit of SpongeBob SquarePants on this cover. <laughs> All right. Anyway, next up we have T Rock with Last Man Standing, Arav Krishnan with Wayfinder, Agala with 2021, Implicit Doom with Cake Deluxe, and then this is where it gets crazy. We have Orange Juice Carton. It's self-titled, and they actually have a carton of Minute Maid. <laughs> a carton of what? Minute Maid. Go figure. All right. Anyway, well, next... hey, I never would think of them having a 
title of a breakfast beverage. Yeah, true. Let's see. We have Recover Girl with Wasted Time. William Moranchi with the William Moranchi album. Uh, June Classic with Mommy Whispers. Anguish Day with Ange- Angeus. Then we have Susanna with A Pagan's Prayer, uh, the Bendig Back Backsauce Remix. See that five times fast. And then we have Bill Callahan and Bonnie. Don't want to try. Bonnie Prince Billy. Rooftop Garden featuring George Zyloris. Then we have Ya Boy Payton with Addiction to Being Humiliated featuring Mr. Ice. Then we have The Raft with Summer Heads and Winter Beds. Cute. Uh, Baby Tron and Stan Will with Lewis and Clark. Alice Kay and Liv Foree with Xenomorphine. A Spiral and Alexei Borisov with Compact Stick. Uh, we Are Only Human Once, self-titled. Uh, Jacob Collier with The Sun Is In Your Eyes, voice memo. Uh, Candle and Kendall Carson with Birds. Concept One with 9612. Khalid with 21. LC with Wanderer. Octa Mobius Scheffner with Funny Exit Plus Plus Doors. I have no idea what that means. Uh, Shoshana with Unapologetic. Juice Maisley with Crown. Andres Digital with Sigue La Lucha. Uh, Norsk with The Story So Far. YT and Sela with Caracal 2. Future Retroism with Ruins. Jeff Whiteley Project with Luna Ad Insanian Convertant. Say that five times fast. I ain't doing it. <laughs> Zara Larson with Talk About Love. Blanche, Blanche, Blanche with Seashells. Boy, I didn't know one of the Golden Girls would get so popular with that. <laughs> uh, so you also have Tayamo Denku and John Doe with Bars Bury Them. Oh, this is going to be a fun one to read. Feliz Perez Cardoso with Asi Sueña El Arpa Paraguaya. Originales, 1938 to 1950. I can't do that in Span. I can't remember that in Spanish. Let's see. Like Wendy with the Fisher, Silk City with New Love, Future Wave with Uncut Instrumentals Volume One, uh, The Soviet Machines, self-titled, Uga Booga with I Need a Piss featuring Carlo Gallegos and why Ooga the hell? Uga Booga. Yeah, and why oh the? Oh my. Now, now this is what makes me a little strange on this. There's Donkey Kong on the cover. What like on the cover? Mark. Donkey Kong. Uh-huh. All right, then we have Be the Leo with Happy Shapes. Love and Philo with Follow the Leader. Harry Styles with Treat People with Kindness. Ian Daniel Kehoe with Don't Stop Falling in Love. Good artwork on that one. Overcoats with The Fight, Remixed and Extended. Miami Horror with Sometimes, French 79 Remix. Uh, Simmel with True. Dioi Freyer with Freyer. Krakow loves Adana with White Trash Heroes. I don't like that title, but hey, it's their choice. It's probably not even, who knows, it may not even be the theme. Uh, Anika, Ka- Anika Pyle, excuse me, was sad. Joshua Raiden with Better Life. Mountain Bird with It Won't Be Easy. Stone Foundation with Deeper Love. Opal- Opalopo Remix. <laughs> Yo Majesty with Bumping Too Hard. Uh, various artists with tour mode. All partial with Save Brain, my Valentine. Uh, see, so we also have Doby with Strictly for the Traps and Trunks, Long Live Doby Edition. Uh, Sparrow Wave Nomads with First Encounters. Norm Regular with Describe Infinity. That's kind of hard to do, actually. Uh, <laughs> Colin Mason with Foreign. Schmettis with New Year. Brandy Carlisle with A Rooster Says. Uh, Renover and Benoit. Oh, what, hey, we, we already know what the fox says. You know what the rooster says, don't you? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, close as I can get, thank yeah. you. Then we have Renover and Benoit Puillard with To Be in the Gray is Okay. Uh, Zavi with 95 Polymath. A very interesting, very interesting cover. Uh, then we have Milo, Milo and Young Wilhelm with, oh God. Here we go. Best decker do for Tierder Jag Harsinth. I'm sorry if I destroyed that. <laughs> uh, fiction fake. White thought mirror pick. In the pines with slow blink. Zverm with Posnia. I, I, in that acrylic writing, I can't stand. Uh, then we have 
Gonsol, Gonsol Comk with O Atoa Tape One. And then, oh yeah, oh by the way, those last three started on Sat, came out Saturday. All right, on the second. Then we have Fly Anakin with Anakin and Friends vo Episode One. I don't think it's got anything to do with Star Wars. Then we have Starker with Stark Stark Durex. Croak with Whole Lot of Fred. Uh, then we have Mersbo with Merca Modulator. Seb Harris with Friends, F R E N Z. And finally, Printport with Big Things Come Soon. Then on Sunday, we have Rack with Chaos EP5. Bone Drip with Soul Searcher. Courtesy with Juan Swan Song. Very funny on that one. Then we have, oh, I like this one. Allison Thorne with Yesterday Sucks, Today is Great, and My Birthday is Tomorrow. <laughs> Unfortunately, a user gave it a 10. Uh, let's see, we have Just Rich Gates and King Kays with Trappers and Killers. Guap Chat with Face to Face. And then uh, yesterday we have Severo with JT. Louis Zong with Pigeon. The Dogs with Postmortem Portraits of Loneliness. Uh, Mad Lib with Hop Rock. Bakeon with Get You Alone, Celestial Swarm with Gateways to the Necroverse, London Grammar with Lose Your Head, Gooda Gooda with Seven Slugs, uh, oh, can, can Goji Ultim with Fantasy Music for Normal People. That sounds interesting. <laughs> then we have Empty Forest with Through the Ice Forest, Slytherin with When the Darkness Comes, and I don't think that's got to do with Harry Potter either. Pardon me while I get a bit of water. Was my mouth drying out again? Hmm. Mm. That's better. Then we have Curse of Decay with Eternal Rest. Necro Chapel with Possessed Child. Chung Ha with Carencia. Gremlin with Design. Brianna Morella with Eclipse. And we're short his wife. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Vega Huh with Only Reasons. Slow Thigh, or should we probably slow tie with Maza. Let's see. Then we have Katya Crow with I've, ca I, I've called off the search. I know exactly where you are. <laughs> then we have Lil Caesars with Blasphemy. Big Kahuna OG and Monday Night with Shark Report. Triumvirate with From Beyond the Grave. Let's see. And actually. Starting with Flotai, that's all today's to see these. Uh, Death Prophecy with Massacre from Meiji, Meiji Ishin. Uh, Jimmy Ed Edgar with Pause with Matt Ox. Thundering Hooves with Vestiges. A winged victory for the Sullen so that the city can begin to exist. Let's see. E the Mad Assassin with Bare Hands 5, Graham Newton. Uh, let's see. On tomorrow, we've got Saint Day with local MVP, Poppin' Party with Photograph, Darko with Bad Timing, Gates of Doom with Aquarea Mater Eterna, Alice Glass with Suffer and Swallow, Hain, H A I A, H A I N E, that one's self titled, Dead Mal 5 and Wolfgang Gartner with Channel 43. Uh, and that's on. Oh, God, that's Thursday. Kings of Leon. Haven't heard them in a while. With Feel the Way You Do. Pistol and Age with Unwavering Futility. Hate Page with Hate Page 3. Uh, Enrique Appel with Humanity. And that actually starts Friday. Because now Friday's the big day. Uh, Viagra Boys with Welfare Jet. Yes, I said Viagra. <laughs> You guys still there? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just wanted to make sure everybody was still here. That's all. The, the, that's all, Sorry. folks. No, you're fine. I just have to get back there. There we go. All right. Uh, well, then we have Passenger with Songs for the Drunk and Brokenhearted. <laughs> uh, Casper Clausen with Better Way. Codus with A Dream is Just a Big Thought. Which, actually, that's true. Uh, Helen Child with Every Mover. Uh, Morgan Wallen with Dangerous, the double album. Jacob Hellman with Ant Antligen Borta. Special Interest with The Passion of, remixed. Talia Mar with Jack. The Amaryllis Quartet with Fesca, Complete String Quartets, Volume 2. 
Then we have Orlando Consort with Michelle, the Lion of Nobility. Saw Weedy with Best Friend featuring Doja Cat. Barry Gibb with the Gibb Brothers Songbook, uh, Volume 1. Greenfield. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, let's see. Then we He's have... the only Gibb brother left, to... yeah, left alive. I think you're right. Uh, let's see. We have Lice with Wasteland, What Ails Our People is Clear. Then we have Aaron Frazier with Introducing. Uh, Modern Hunt with I Don't Want to Get Adjusted to This World. Let's see. It's someone we have not heard in a long time. Avril Lavigne. She's back with a new one called Flames. Wow. Yeah. Then we have USS U Ubiquitous Synergy Seeker with Einstein's of Consciousness. I like the title already. <laughs> then we have Sithu Aie with Senpai 3. Kings of Leon with Must Catch the Bandit. Ka Baird with Vivek Vivification Exercises 1. Sammy Hagar and the Circle with Lockdown 2020. Hmm. Better look into that one. Uh, Frozen Soul with Crypt of Ice. I don't know why they have it listed twice either. Um, oh, this is a funny one. How to be dead. Lights at the ends of tunnels. <laughs> then we have Charlotte Lawrence with Talk You Down. Alphabet Holds Hostage with Truth in Habitual. Darknet with TSP Volume 1. Jireal with 1953. Various Artists with Conflicted. Militia with And the Gods Made War. Midnight Spell with Seek. I'm sorry, Sky Destroyer. Malakim with Thelon. Or is it Theon? Uh, the Mother of Graves with In Somber Dreams. Nomadic Rituals with Tides. Conquest with The Night Goes On. Mother, I'm sorry, Mother of Sauron. It's Mouth of Sauron with Berserker 1. Last Legion with Division Scaraborg. Side with Aoakistia. Raven Gas with Paroxysm. Uh, oh God. Amputa Amputazion Spontanea del Caso with Isolation Apocalypse. At least the title was easy to say. <laughs> Infernal Apparition with the Endless Crypt. Concrete Funeral with Covered in Concrete. Escaping Agartha with White Nose Syndrome. And the last CD of the week is Jasmine Sullivan with Ho Tales. And that is the end of the CDs for the week. Wow. And we've still got about... A little less than 17 minutes. 17 minutes to spare. Yep, not bad. Okay, now... A uh, couple things, let's see, a couple things to note. Number one, uh, Tanya Roberts has, in fact, officially died. Yep. But you're not going to believe what she died from. Yeah, this is the shock. Go ahead, Janet. It was toxic shock from, oh, God, what did I say it was? Uh, UTI, urinary uh, tract uterine infection. tract infection. That's what she died from. And she evidently was not paying attention to her health. Because if you catch it in time and you treat it with antibiotics, mm -hmm. it is, you could get rid of it. Mm -hmm. But some, but some, sometimes, you know, they'll do something. And now, I, you know, I'm not saying anything. I think, I think if, you know, she may have done something. That caused it. We don't know yet, but we really don't. And even if they do find out what caused it, it mm -hmm. might... it's still sad enough. Uh, you know, because I saw uh, um, View to a Kill mm -hmm. with her not too long ago, and it is so funny. Bond is in her apartment, and the bad guys attack him. And she takes a shotgun, and Bond takes a shotgun. Boom, 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 boom. What'd you load this thing with? Rock salt. <laughs> yeah, JJ Watts said. Uh, JJ fan said, Ah, uh, what? WTF? I didn't know that kind of. Yes, I have heard of stories of that happening. So. Yeah, it's it's, a, it's all a matter about you know if you're if there's something you don't feel is right, go to the doctor. Hmm. Because she probably I 
because I I have heard of this happening. I heard this happening to I think it was like a Brazilian supermodel or something. She had she had like a UTI and she died from it. So it is possible. It can happen, and that's frightening. Yeah, and and she was probably in the middle of this and that and this and that, and didn't want to interfere with her duties. Yeah, that's true. You know, which is a wrong thing. Yeah, might be the wrong thing, but you know, you can't stop. The people just can't stop, right? Okay. And let's see. Uh, okay, something else you might want to note. Take, take note of this. Everybody raise your hand if you know for a fact you're going to cry after Friday's Jeopardy. If I'm hands able up. to watch it. Yeah. Hands up. Yep. I will be crying after fr after Jeopardy on Friday. Is that the last show he did before he passed? Yep. It's the final one. The original planned date was supposed to be Christmas Day, but I think they wanted to change it because they didn't want people being sad on Christmas Day. Right. So I feel like, good move. Okay, can I share something that was shared in the chat earlier? Yeah. Okay, I don't have a link for this. This was a uh, photo that Frodo posted earlier tonight before the show started. Uh -huh. It was aimed for me and Ash. Uh-huh. About a potential leak. Oh. Keyword link. I don't know if you guys saw this in the the the, the BTA um, chat. Okay. Um, something referring to a Nintendo Direct on the 11th, Monday. Hmm, okay. I'm not going to go into details. I'm not even going to list what this all is. I don't blame because you. Because it's a leak. And also take it take with a grain of salt. Right. Okay. Here's but my I'm... salt shaker. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah. But, I'll toss salt on the shoulder. <laughs> but one of them is this is a hardware announcement. Nintendo Switch Pro. Ah. With the date of April twenty third this year. Ooh. Again. Nintendo has not really said anything about releasing hardware. Right. Because Nintendo Switch Lite came out roughly a year and a half ago. Mm hmm And I so, have both. <laughs> same. Same. So I'm Be crossing that one burrito. off. Yeah. I'm crossing that one immediately off. Now, first-party software. Again, these are not confirmed. I can't. Mm. Uh, Nin Nintendo World Park Tour. Okay, Mario Kart 9. The last Mario Kart game we've had that was not a re-release is Mario Kart 8 for the Wii U. Mm. Reason why I make that mention because they re they re-released Mario Kart 8 on the Switch as Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Gotcha. Okay. Um, Splatoon 3. The last Splatoon game was Splatoon 2, which was like. I think right at the beginning of the Nintendo Switch's life cycle, so 2017, 2018. Mm -hmm. um, Super Mario Odyssey 2, again, Mario Odyssey came out around 2017, 2018 life cycle. Uh, Fire Emblem Echoes, Path of Radiance. Again, I think the last Fire Emblem Echoes game came out many years ago on the, on, on the 3DS. Uh, Metroid Resurgence. Again, we have one game that we're waiting on, and that is um, Metroid Prime 4. That was announced right around the start of uh, the Switch's life cycle. Hmm. Third party. There's a huge list of third party. Uh, Kingdom Hearts, uh, Destiny's Embrace. Big problem with that. There was an interview shortly after they released... On Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory, and and the creator said that uh, Kingdom Hearts will go on hiatus until at least 2022, hmm, because 2022 is the 20th anniversary of the series. Right. So I can instantly cross that off. Okay. Uh, Bayonetta three, that was announced some time ago, but there has been no release date yet. Uh, Shin Megami Tensei five. I don't know if they're... I, I think they announced this somewhere along the way, but I forget when. Okay. 
Ubisoft, uh, Assassin's Creed, Valhalla, Watch Dogs Legion, and Far Cry 6. I could definitely see it. Mm-hmm. But as far as uh, Assassin's Creed goes, I would love to see Origins and Odyssey. Um, Watch Dogs, I would like to see uh, Watch Dogs 1 and 2. Far Cry, we need to at least see Far Cry 5 and 4, at least. Mm-hmm. Um, Capcom, Resident Evil 2 Remake, Resident Evil 3 Remake, Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition. That would I I that would be doable. That would be awesome. Let's mm-hmm. See, Grand Theft Auto Five Premium Edition. Problem. There has not been a numbered Grand Theft Auto game on a Nintendo console. The only Grand Theft Auto game there was is uh, Grand Theft Auto uh, Advance for the Game Boy Advance and um, Chinatown for the DS. Mm. As far as I'm concerned, Nintendo and Rockstar don't exactly get along because of the content. Right. Let's see, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I don't think there has been a single Call of Duty game on a Nintendo console. You're right. It's always been on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Now I now I admit it was kind of strange getting Mortal Kombat 11 available for the Switch. Yeah, I don't think there has been a Mortal Kombat game since the one on the SNES. That could have been the case. Since I've never had an SNES, I have no idea. (laughs) Right. My friend, uh, Mortal Kombat is one of his favorite games. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, now... Oh, go ahead. Let you finish. um, Final Fantasy VII Remake. That I can definitely see. Final Fantasy is no stranger to when it comes to being on a nan- Nintendo console. Yeah, because so, uh, Sephiroth got added to the Ultimate Smash Brothers recently. <laughs> yep, exactly. So, yeah, let's see. Upcoming Nintendo Switch Pro and then Nintendo Switch games. Again, putting all things in quotes. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. Wouldn't be surprised because of the Insane mm-hmm. Trilogy. Uh, Eastward, Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. Wouldn't be surprised there either. Mm-hmm. Grid 5, you ca- uh, uh, Yakuza 6, The Song of Life, The Song of Five Strikers, Control Ultimate Edition, Fallout 3, New Vegas. I'm scratching my, my head with Fallout 3. Uh, Near Replicant, Dead or Alive 6, Hollow Knight, Silk Song, Apex Legends, Planet vs. Zombies, Battle from Neighborville, The Witness, Hitman 3. Yeah, I can see that. Man Eater, Borderlands 3, Dragon Ball, uh, Kakarot, Baldo, Little Nightmares 2, A Way Out, No More Hades, Really Default 2, Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin, Monster Hunter Rise, Xenoblade Chronicles X, Definitive Edition, Super Mario 3D World, and Plus Bowser's Fury. There's a few games I could definitely see. I know for a fact that Persona 5 Strikers is coming out next month. Mm-hmm. Super Mario 3D World is coming out as well. But some of the other ones I'm not so sure of. Let's see. And then lastly, it was listed here for trailer game footage is The Legend of Zelda Echoes of the Past. Hmm. Now, this year is the 35th anniversary of The Legend of Zelda franchise. This is huge. So we don't know any more details about that. All right. But that's all that I've seen. This is what um, Frodo posted. Okay. Take all of this with a major grain of salt. Right. I have no idea where where Frodo got this. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen this on Twitter because I'm surprised that no one has leaked this yet elsewhere online. So take this with a grain of salt. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to tell you something that may not be such a grain of salt. Georgia, and you don't do, usually don't do politics, but since today is supposed to be the Georgia... U.S. Senate runoffs. I got some bad news. It looks like the two Republicans are going to win. It does indeed. Yeah, because I'm looking at it right now. Uh, David Perdue's got 51.3%, and Kelly Loeffler has 50.8% on her end, and it's 90% reported. That's not looking good. Nope. 
Georgia will have failed the country. Yeah. And of course, tomorrow is supposed to be the final certification, right? That is correct. And of course, at least 10, what is it, 11 Republican senators and about 140 Republican House members are going to say no. Of course, it's all a show. There are plenty of Republicans who are saying, look, it's over, it's done, we're going to certify it whether you like it or not. But I mean, I have a bad feeling this is going to set a really, really bad precedent, you know? Like, what happens the in entire, The entire <laughs> Trump administration has done that. Mm-hmm. It's going to start a ridiculous precedent now because, you know, in, let's say, you know, when 2024 comes up, and now the, now just about every election can be challenged, right? Even more, even down to the... To the you know, trying to be in the house now, you know? They could say, oh no, he had fraudulent votes. It's like, oh boy. I think he just opened up a Pandora's box. So. But keep your fingers crossed that after tomorrow, at least that part of this nightmare is going to be over. Because it's gotten so out of hand now. Hmm. All right, well, anyway, excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm really tired, and this might not have to upload, but thank goodness I was smart enough to put all the links in the um, Discord, so that's going to be easy right there. So Discords are archived, right? Mm-hmm. I have to get a Discord membership, then. I think you already do, I think, actually. Yeah, I think you do. No, wait. Yeah, Star Child. Yeah, you're in there. Star Child, you're already in there, Jan. Huh? Uh, Jan was wondering if she had a Discord account. Yeah, she does. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, don't forget, we got the 14th Amendment, Section 3. That is true. And of course, you know, some of the Republican senators said, hey, we're going to certify the vote. It's over. It's done. Deal with it. Yeah, but by the way, I did see both Wonder Woman 84 and Soul on Christmas Day. Both were good, but Soul was better. <laughs> Sorry, Wonder Woman, but I got to give it to Soul. <laughs> That movie was good. So. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm tired. Oh, Alright, so of course, tomorrow is Warzone Wednesday, our first one of the year. And, you know, we're probably going to, we're probably going to end up talking maybe a little bit about the electoral college process and such. So, you know, I mean... Because unfortunately, you know, this is this it's a standard thing, but this year it's hyped up because of you know who. <laughs> all right, but then of course on Thursday we have our first food fascinations of the year, and it's going to be all about the crazy eating contests or the eating challenges, I should say. Like you know, we mentioned that seventy-two ounce steak and such at that um. Uh, big tech, the big Texan. Yeah, because I've, you see, I've eaten at the Big Texan, but I wouldn't dare try that challenge. <laughs> oh, I, my. There is no way I can do that challenge, because I would be sick as a dog. <laughs> it's like, I'll do it, but I'm going to split it with at least six people. Because <laughs> that's how I, that's how I am. I can't, I can't stand the thought. And then on Friday, you know... Let me ask this question. What would you guys like to do? Would you like to do uh, Nearly Naughty Mad Libs, Family Friendly Cards Against Humanity, or Among Us? Among Us. Among Us. Jana, how about you? What? What? Um, what do you want to do Friday? Yeah, we're going to choose um, between Among Us, Cards Against Humanity, and Mad Libs. 
Uh, uh, I say family friendly cards against humanity. Well, you've been outnumbered, Janet, because it's two to one on um, Among Us. <laughs> okay, I don't care. All right. So uh, yeah, I'll have well, my actually uh, my Among Us bracelet by then. Okay. It's right. a real cool leather one. Okay, hold you on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Janet. Tim, go, go on, ahead. Tim. What about you, Shirley? What do you want to do on Friday? Because you haven't cast a vote yet. Oh, either. you're right. Okay, I'm gonna go for Among Us. Okay. okay. So here's That's what we'll do. Problem. So this Friday we'll do Among Us. Next Friday we'll do Mad Libs, and the following Friday we'll do Family Friendly Cards Against Humanity. Fair enough. Okay. And then the following then... Friday, since there's four Fridays in the month, mm -hmm. on that fourth Friday, since we only have three games and four Fridays, repeat a game? Yeah. Or we could try that one that um, Mike Shell suggested. Shock. Yeah. Shell Shock Live. Yeah. It's a good game. It's fun. Yeah, that'd be, that'd fun be a good idea game. to do. It's on Steam. Okay. I will have to definitely get that. So, yeah, this this will work. This will work. So, I just a... installed my copy of it. Yeah, I've got, gave, I've got the kit. I don't you think gave it to me. Well, you gave it to what me. What is the name back. of the game? What is the name Shell of the game? Live? Shell Shock Live. Shell Shock Live. Okay, I need to get it because I don't have it. Yeah, yeah. You Let me know how much it, it is. To sure. me a while back, Mike. I think I did give it to you. You did. And I've installed it. I have installed it, but I haven't played it yet, so I'm going to have okay. to learn how to play it first. Yeah, all right, puppy doggies, huh? Good job. Man, I think I gifted to you, too, a while back. I'm going to reinstall it. Yeah, I know I do not have it myself, so. But make sure the cage door is closed, right? Because I come in here one morning, and Cosmo was out of the cage. If it's not latched right, he's... Yeah, finds a spot to squeeze through. Okay, JJ said, I've never heard of that game. Well, I haven't either, but Mike Mike put on a YouTube video for us to look at. It's like, holy cow. That's not bad. <laughs> Basically, you are a tank. You have a crazy set of arsenals that yeah. you can shoot off to destroy your enemy. And it's, it's just a lot of fun. It's mm -hmm. a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. It can be humorous. And it can get, get serious, too, weapons. unfortunately. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. my handmade hand sanitizer. Well, in my case, since I've never alcohol. really played it, I'll have to be humorous because it's like, well, if somebody shoots me up, then I'm. <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> oh, well. Because there's no way I can get first because I've never done it. So, all now, right. What's it called? I'll go over to my Steam. Shell Shocked Live. That's the name of it. Yep, shell shock live. Okay, so shock. I keep live. saying shell shell shock, but it's shell shock. Okay. Just shock, no E D. Gotcha. Shell shock live. Got it. All right. No. Well, time is just about up for us tonight. So let me play my brand new ending for Tune in Tuesday. Five ninety nine okay. I can't get it's in cheap. to play that. Oh, it's in my library already. Yeah, because yeah. I gifted to you. Okay. Well, thank you. All right, so anyway, uh, don't forget, tomorrow night is our first Warzone Wednesday of the year, and there will be plenty to talk about. Hopefully not too much on the Electoral College, but it is a big deal tomorrow, so. Oh, I see what it is. Now that I'm looking at the thing. Thank mm -hmm. you, Mike. All right. Yep. Yeah, well, anyway, um... Everybody have a great night. Have a safe night. Stay warm or stay cool wherever you are. <laughs> Seriously. And, um, you know, love, peace, and chicken grease, too. Uh, have a great night, and we'll see you tomorrow for Warzone Wednesday. Good night, everybody. Take care.